Okay, the purpose of this video is to discuss stability in the context of a dynamic system. And in particular, there are several different types of stability that you can, you can uh, look at. In our case, we're going to look at what's called BIBO, B-I-B-O, which stands for Bounded Input, Bounded Output Stability. And uh, the idea behind it is this. If I have a system that has an input x of t and an output y of t, uh, this system will be BIBO stable if, if I can say that the absolute value of the input being less than some constant a for all t, if this implies that the absolute value of the output will be less than b for all t. So if this statement implies that this statement is true, then the system is bounded input, bounded output stable. Conceptually, what this means is that as long as the input does not get to be too large, so as long as this stays bounded, then the output stays bounded, and the idea is that that usually means that the system's stable. Well, that means that the system does what you want it to do, or at least doesn't do what you don't want it to do. So, um, Let's do a few simple examples of systems and try to determine if they're uh, BIBO stable. So suppose we have a system where what the system does is multiply the input by a gain so that y of t is equal to some gain times x of t. And the question is, is this a bounded input, bounded output, stable system? Okay. Well, um, the idea where we have to check that if this is true, that is, if x of t, the magnitude of x of t, or the absolute value of x of t is less than a, then uh, will the mag or the absolute value of y of t be less than b? A here is something that we can tell basically from the signal. Um, so, for example, if I talk about a unit step function uh, where the unit step function looks something like this, it's zero. It's zero for values of t less than zero, and it's one for values of t um, greater than zero. Then, say I pick a equals 2. Well, if a is equal to 2, then clearly the absolute value of u of t is either 0 when t is less than 0 or 1 when t is greater than or equal to 0. So I could pick a value of a is equal to 2 and this inequality here would be satisfied. Okay, so let's assume that we have some arbitrary input x of t where this inequality is satisfied for some value of a. Now, if I look at the output, the absolute value of y of t is the absolute value of the gain times x of t, and this is the absolute value of the gain times the absolute value of x of t, and this is less than the absolute value of the gain times a of t because, again, we're assuming that x of t satisfies this inequality. And so if we take then b as defined by the absolute value of the gain times a, then the output of this system satisfies this inequality. Okay, so a gain is a BIBO stable system in the sense that um, anything, anytime I put a bounded signal in, I get a bounded signal out. Okay. Now, um, it is possible to uh, have an unbounded signal 
of, for example, well, u of t is a bounded signal. If I had e to the a t, as t gets large, this thing gets large too. And so uh, this e to the a t does not satisfy this inequality here. Okay. So let's look at another example. Uh, first, let's tidy up a bit. Get rid of all this uh, clutter. In fact, uh, we'll get rid of all of this. So we have lots of room for this next system because it could get a little, a little hairy. Okay, so let's suppose we have a system where the output of the system, y of t, is the integral from time 0 to t of the input. So we'll say x of tau, where tau is a dummy variable of integration. Okay, so conceptually what this system does is if I can graph my input x of t, whatever it is, so this is x of t, actually we'll call this x of tau since we're doing a dummy variable of integration here. What this system does is it computes the area under x from time 0 up to some specified value of time t. Okay. So basically, the output of the system at any given time is the area between time 0 and time t. So at a later time, the output of this system is going to be the area under the input signal at this later time. We could call that t prime. So again, the area here, uh, or the output, is the area from 0 to t. So is this system bounded input, bounded output stable? And the answer is, um, it turns out no. The way we can show this, to show that a system is not bounded input, bounded output stable, we just have to find one input that's bounded that gives an unbounded output. So suppose that the input is the unit step function. Okay. As we talked about before, this is a bounded function. So I can choose a equals 2, or I can choose a anything bigger than 1, and this is satisfied. So if I put this input into the system, the output's going to be the integral from 0 to t of this input. Okay, so y of t is going to be the integral from 0 to t of um, the unit step function. And as long as t is greater than 0, that's going to be 1. And you can work out this integral that y of t is now equal to t. Okay, and again, this is for the case where t is greater than 0, actually greater than or equal to 0. For the case where t is less than 0, then um, basically your uh, output is going to be 0. Okay, so the question is, is this a bounded output? And the answer is no, because as t gets large, t gets large. And so I can't find a value b some constant value b so that for every value of t, y of t, which again is equal to t, is less than this value b. So this is a system that has a bounded input. Again, the bounded input is the unit step function and gives an unbounded output. The unbounded output would be t. Um, to show what the system does to the unit step function graphically, This is the unit step function here. Again, it's computing the area under the unit step function from 0 to t. So this is that area. And you can see as t gets larger, this area gets larger. And I can make t really large, and this area gets really large, and so on. 
So hopefully this has been helpful. This is an introduction to stability and in particular bounded input, bounded output stability. Uh, in summary, to show that a system is BIBO stable, you need to show that for every possible bounded input, the output is bounded. To show that a system is not BIBO stable, you just have to find one bounded input that gives you an unbounded output.